Sitting in the cockpit of a powered up F-22 can be pretty scary, especially if you don't know how to fly it. Yes, I, I held the brakes down pretty tight. I did not let go of the brakes at all. Luckily for Airman John, this Raptor has been bolted securely to the ground in preparation for his engine run final exam. After various pre-checks, the real fun begins. We're going to go five minutes at idle, 10 minutes at 80% RPMs, then we're going to go to military power, which is 100% uh, 100 RPMs, then all the way full afterburner. So it's going to get louder, 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 and then it's going to get really loud. Though these students already have experience on the flight line, this training gives them more capabilities with the F-22. After the class, they're going to be engine room qualified, so now they can do operational checks with all the systems running. Now, Airman John can power up an F-22 anytime the mission requires, with his foot on the brake, of course. Senior Airman Danielle Kohlberg, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida.